Um, can I get the box combo? Sure. Can it be a lemonade? And instead of the coleslaw, can I get toast? And that'll be okay. it. Okay. Hey guys, what's up? It's Molly. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm filming a video you guys all been waiting for. How I lost weight. I am honestly nervous filming this video just because, one, I've never done a story time, so I might stutter a lot. Two, I know so many people are going to watch this video. And three, the way I lost weight, it's like not really ideal, I guess you could say. Like a lot of people hate on this diet, and I don't understand why. Like I lost weight, I feel good, I feel better than before, I feel healthier, and I... I look better um, so yeah I don't know why people hate on this diet so before I do tell you guys how I lost weight or like what diet I've been on just please don't comment down below this diet is bad for you because I know it's bad for you but did I still do it yeah do I feel good yeah do I regret going on this diet no and as long as I die a skinny queen I could care less okay Okay, I'm kidding. That's a joke. That sounds bad. I know. And also, my voice. I'm, I'm, I'm currently sick right now. I know, worst timing to get sick. But, here I am. Um, am I shouting? My ears hurt. And my stomach is currently growling. I didn't eat anything this morning, and it's 1 p.m. Yeah. But I am so excited to eat this, because I haven't had cane since November of last year, which is a long time for me, okay? It's a very long time for me. But before I do get on to the story time, I just want to take a bite. And then also I'm going to try this lemonade. I never tried Kane's lemonade before. And I'm excited. And also, this is my first time getting the box combo. I always get the three finger combo. Um, but yeah. First, let's try the lemonade. I always get Dr. Pepper. But since my throat hurts, um, hopefully lemonade helps. I think lemonade helps with sore throats. I'm not sure. Um, and also, I'm trying to cut back on sugary soda so well this is sugar what am i saying that's not bad oh my god that tastes yummy but before i do eat i just want to show you how my body is right now um just for reference because i am gonna say my weight in this video and I, I don't know probably for reference i don't know honestly don't know hopefully people don't look at me like i'm retarded well but this is how i am right now Oh my god. Oh, the box combo already comes with the, the bread. I was like, why is there two bread? <laughs> R.I.P. to my skinny body. <laughs> and this is the only sauce I technically like. I don't really like any other sauce besides McDonald's barbecue. So. So now let's get into the story time. Or like. Is it considered the story time? I don't even know. I do have like, in my notes app, I have like the topics I want to talk about. Hopefully this is organized. I don't really know because like I said, it's my first time sitting down and talking to you guys for like a long time. So bear with me. But I do have like a topics, like a few topics I want to talk about. Okay, so first I'm going to start off by telling you like my, my, like my life of being like overweight I guess you could say it's pretty short but basically before I'm 10 years old or once I hit the age 10 that's when I started to get a little bit bigger and I didn't really like think of it I don't know if because I was only 10 I just I didn't really say like oh I'm gonna go on a diet because I'm getting bigger you know I didn't like really realize it I literally just like I was, one day I was flat and then I blinked and I, I blew up <laughs> So 10 is where the age I started to get bigger. Before 10, so 9 and under, I was pretty skinny. To be honest, I think it's because I was outside most of the time before the age 10. So like I didn't, I ate obviously, but I was mostly outside, I feel like. <laughs> now like people are like on their phones a lot. So basically my whole teenage years, I was overweight. Oh, so like 10 to like 13, I wasn't really overweight, but I was like big. I started to get more overweight, like 16, 17, around there. My highest weight was 193. So that was the highest weight I've ever been. 
it was like 192, 193, and I'm honestly happy that I never reached the 200s because that would have been scary. Okay, now the reason why you guys all clicked on this video is how I lost the weight. So the diet that I was on is called the carnivore diet. Maybe some of you guys know it, some of you guys don't. But if you guys do know what the carnivore diet is, please don't comment down below this diet's bad for you because I know it's bad for you, but I still did it. Because I didn't think anything was going to happen, honestly. I just wanted to try it out. Because my whole family was on the diet. Or not before me. We all started the same day. We started July 17th of 2023. And we were just trying it. We didn't think anything would work or what happened. Because we tried so many diets in the past. So we were honestly surprised. And we all, we all lost the weight pretty fast. So I lost 20 pounds within the first month of being on the carnival diet. To be honest, I would have lost all the weight like I would have been my I, my weight goal if I would have stuck to it because I did cheat pretty often at the end of last year like July through August I was doing it pretty good that's when I lost the 20 pounds but then in September that's when we went to Florida and obviously I'm not gonna be on no diet in a different state on vacation so I did eat out there after coming back from that vacation I was kind of cheating almost every day at the end of last year so in the beginning of the carnival diet i was 171 and then in august um i was like 151 like right before we left to florida i was like 151 or like 152 around there and then coming back from florida to be honest i thought i was gonna gain a lot but i didn't really gain a lot i was 150 like four and then I just started to cheat almost every day basically so that's why it took me forever to lose weight but I would have lost all the weight in like about three months so if you guys do plan on going on the carnival diet I suggest you don't cheat because you will lose the weight fast um yeah July till now I lost like 40 pounds if you don't cheat then you are guaranteed to lose 40 pounds in like four months or three months just to be like don't cheat if you're wondering what my weight is now I'm currently this might be like you guys might be mad at me for this but I don't know my weight is actually 136 you guys are probably saying but I filmed that one video in February and I was 137 how did I only lose one pound um yeah so for the past like week I was on set and I was eating a lot I was eating pretty good out there or on set so before I left to set I was actually like 132 but in the beginning of the month for some reason I was like stalling with my weight and I don't even know it's so confusing but yeah my weight right now is 136 probably 140 after all this but as long as I don't get carried away with junk food I should be good and I tried so many other diets like I said in the beginning um, but none nothing worked um, yeah, literally nothing worked I always say in the beginning of every year like for a New Year's resolution that I'm gonna lose weight and even in I think it was freshman or sophomore sophomore year of high school um, I wrote down because for like English we had to like write down our New Year's resolutions and then we turn it into the teacher and whatnot and then my one of my New Year's resolution was to lose weight and then I guess my teacher seen that and then she like called me up to like her desk and then was telling me I forgot what the word she was saying but we're basically trying to figure out like she was trying to help me to like cut back on like chips basically um, but yeah that didn't work <laughs> oh and by the way before I do continue on with this video I just want to say I'm not no expert at weight loss like I just did what what I did and here I am but don't don't like listen to what I'm saying basically because like I said, I'm not no expert, but there is this doctor I found on YouTube. He was basically explaining everything. This is his username, his YouTube, whatever. He technically goes into depth about the carnivore diet and like what he eats and stuff like that. So you should go watch him. He's a doctor. So so now I'm going to tell you what I ate in a day and all that. If you don't know what the carnivore diet is, let me explain it. Duh. Um, so the carnivore diet is basically an all meat diet. So basically with the carnivore diet, all you're looking out for is carbs and sugar. I'm going to read you a list on what I've been eating. So in the morning, you would want to eat bacon, two sauce, or however many sauces you want. But I will usually eat two sausage and then eggs. 
and instead of oil you're obviously gonna use like butter but yeah I'm gonna put pictures on like the stuff that I use exactly yeah that's what I would eat in the morning and then at 5 p.m. I would either eat ground beef or steak those are the two main things you want to eat on the carnivore diet there's also pork chops but you on the carnivore diet you would mostly want to eat red meat so ground beef or steak or like hamburger patties and you have to make sure they're not seasoned when you buy it you want to like season it yourself I'll put pictures on like the seasonings I have and then for snacks you could eat pork rinds grapefruit which I recently found out I love so that's a sleigh and then salami and then the drinks that I've been drinking is either water zero sugar soda or zero sugar juice why is that so hard saying so like I was saying I, rec I recommend you eating bacon in the beginning of your diet and then after like a month and a half or like two months then you can stop eating bacon because that's the one reason I think I was stalling in the beginning of this month because I was just eating bacon every morning which it's good for the beginning I, I suggest um, but yeah for the night like before you go to sleep or like not right before you go to sleep but like dinner time 5 p.m. you want to eat like steak and ground beef and like I said the things you mostly have to watch out for is carbs and sugar as long as there's no carbs and sugar it should be should, it should be fine okay so now I'm gonna be answering questions that I got on my YouTube video the one that blew up I was not expecting that so I I would have looked better in the second clip if I knew that one was gonna blew up but it's fine like the lighting is bad and everything but it's fine I was getting a lot of questions on like how I lost weight and now you guys know and thank you guys so much for 15k subscribers that's so crazy like literally in the middle of February I had 200 subscribers now I have 15k in a month that's crazy probably less than a month or probably a month yeah, I think it was a month, but in a month I gained technically 15 subscribers, or 15,000 subscribers. <laughs> I don't even have, I'm just gonna scroll through my comment section and just go from here. Okay, so first I'm gonna answer the questions that I've been seeing the most. I'm gonna try to remember from the top of my head. So a lot of comments were saying, well, how I lost the weight, and that's by doing a carnivore diet, um, which I, I'm, ha I'm happier now. I felt so overweight before now I feel like so good and like when I look down I could see my toes <laughs> another question is if I still have stretch marks or like how did the stretch marks stretch what how did the stretch marks go away and I still have them um, they just faded they were like really dark before like dark red and also a lot of comments were saying how did I lose the arm weight and it just went down on its own let me see if I can show you my arm weight. Ew, why am I trying to flex like that? Ew, that was so cringe. Yeah, this is my arm as of today. And here's a picture of it before. I got the gains. I'm kidding. Ew. I think being on a diet has ruined, like, what I eat now, if that makes sense. Like, before I could just eat whatever and, like, not get full that fast. But now I get full fast. Like, I was literally, my stomach was growling not that long ago. Now I'm like, ugh, you know? I guess that's a good thing. So I don't, like, overdo it with eating. Oh, yeah, people were also saying how did I lose face weight, and it went down on its own. So. Yeah. Yeah, that's all I could think of right now from the top of my head. But I'm going to scroll through the video. A lot of people saying that video motivated them, which makes me happy. So this is another comment that I've been seeing a lot. Um, but a lot of people are saying, because in that caption, I'm like, I still need to lose like 27 more. And I was like 137. And people were like, so you want to be 110? To be honest, yeah. I know a lot of people think that's, well, that is unhealthy for a 19-year-old. Oh yeah, another comment was, sorry, I keep jumping to comment, comment, comment. But another comment was, um, how tall are you? Da 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 da. I am 5'4. So, yeah. A lot of people were saying, why do I want to be 110? To be honest, it's because the slightest junk food I eat, like let's say I'm 137, which I technically am, but let's say I'm 137, I eat this, I'll be like 145. So, like, that's why if I'm like 110, and if I eat this, then I'll like just be 120. That's still like a good weight, you know? And I don't want to see the 40s ever again. So. 
that's probably a stupid reason why I want to be 110, but that's technically why I want to be 110. Because I eat the littlest junk food, like from that what I eat in the weekend video, I gained 10 pounds just from those two days. It wasn't even the three days that I was eating bad, it was just the um, Friday and Saturday. And then Sunday I was on the diet, and I gained 10 pounds from those two days. Like, babe, for what? A lot of people are saying I have an hourglass. Should I be a model? Forget acting, I should be a model. Kidding. Well, some people are like, how old are you? I am 19. Oh, there's another comment that was saying, do I have stretch marks on your hips? Because I have them too. And I wanna know if they, I wanna know if they like won't be, she wants to know if they won't be visible when she loses weight, if that makes sense. So I do have stretch marks. They're just a little bit faded. They're not that vibrant no more. Someone was like, please post a video. It'll be up this Friday, hopefully. Oh, a lot of people are wondering if, that's what, something I forgot to mention. So when you're on the carnivore diet, the good thing about it is you don't have to exercise. Like, that's something I've been wanting to do for so long. Like, I I would always want to lose weight in the past, but like the thing that was holding me back is exercising because I do not like exercising. I, I hate the gym. I went to the gym for like the beginning of last year. I did not see results. And then that's when I started the carnival diet and I was like, okay, I do not have to go to the gym because I was seeing results. So yeah, I do not go to the gym with the carnival diet. And yeah, but I think I should start going to the gym like once I like become my weight goal just to like stay, stay fit so I won't gain weight because that's my new fear, gaining weight. <laughs> Imagine I just like blink and I'm like, and, oh, that's another one. Um... A few, not a lot, but a few comments were saying, so you had the baby, so where's the baby at? So she was pregnant. <laughs> Sorry, I don't, I don't mean to find this funny, but it just like brings me back to like freshman year. It was, yeah, freshman year of high school, and then I was, I was like 160, I think, 160, 170. Um, I probably was 180. I don't know. But so in my one period, there was this one kid. I freaking hate him so much. Sorry, that's a not a good word to use. But um, yeah, so we had the same class together. We had a few classes together, but in this one period, it's it's our art period. And then I guess we like go up to like get the paper that like our teacher wanted us to do. And then I went up, and then he's like one of those troublemaker kids that like don't really care about anything and he was for some reason was telling the teacher this but he was telling the teacher what, what's the exact words let me try to think I forgot the exact words but it was like she looks pregnant or is she pregnant or something like that but I heard him I guess he was like trying to make me hear cuz babe that's not good whispering <laughs> I can't believe he was telling the teacher that I like looked over but I didn't say anything if that was me now I would for sure say something I think the teacher was smiling honestly and then after that day or the whole day I was crying yeah and it's crazy now because I think I recently seen him I think so both before I lost the weight because he's one of my friends friend he's not my friend but he's one of my friends friend and I think we seen each other yeah we did see each other so to answer your question about the pregnancy I was never pregnant there's no baby involved Another question is how to stay motivated, no, consistent, how to stay consistent. To be honest, I'm the worst person at giving tips and like advice, but what, this might not help for you, but literally what I was saying, I was just like, the faster I do it, the faster I get over with. That's probably dumb, but um, every year, like I said, in January, I'll say, this is my New Year's resolution to lose weight. Yeah, it never happened. Um, and then by the time July or like June comes, I'll be like, I could have been skinny right now if I just stayed or if I just stuck to it, you know, but what I'm saying now is, is by the time July and June comes, I'll be a skinny queen. That's something that's like helping me a little bit, I guess. It's just saying the faster I do it, the faster I get over it. And if you guys are wondering if I'm still going to be on this diet when I'm like fully skinny, if I do see my weight keep going up, then yes, I will go back on the diet. But as of like right now, I'm probably 
I mean, I'm still not gonna eat like chips every day. The only time I'll like really eat chips if I go to the movies or like if I go to my cousin's house, but I'm not gonna just eat chips at home. You know what I mean? Um, but if I'm just staying home all day, then I probably will be on that. When, I probably will be on the carnival diet for that day or like something like that. I probably would go back on the diet in August because August and September nothing really goes on in those two months. Ew! Why did I just dip my fries in the sauce? Ew. Okay. Yeah, so I probably will be on the carnival diet in August and September. My cousins, aunts, and like uncles don't have birthdays in August and September, so... And I didn't film this video right away um, because I was trying to get to my weight goal, which was 110, but since you guys are like saying 110 isn't good for you, I mean, I've been you, it wasn't good for you, but you guys are starting to get into my head saying like, because a lot of you guys are saying, you look good like that, you look good, I wish I had that body, you have my dream body, and it's like really like, like, oh my god, you know? I was gonna wait until like I at least get to 120, but you guys are really desperate for it, so I'm filming it right now. A lot of people are saying that it's a glow up, <laughs> slay. And I did this one acting TikTok. It's not really like acting, acting. It's acting, but like I was just like, I don't know how to explain it. But here's the acting TikTok that I was doing. I just want to show you like it's side by side if you don't follow me on TikTok. Because is it just me or do I look completely different? I don't know. It might just be me. But I filmed that. Or the one in the red. Obviously that's now. Um, I filmed it yesterday on set. Or it was Monday on set, I think. And a lot of people are, not a lot. Actually like two people. But... Some people are saying I looked better before, which, babe. Um, are you sure? <laughs> I'm trying to answer as many questions as possible. But a lot of people are just like, it's not really questions. Or a lot of people are saying how. And a lot of people are saying how do I look this flat, like flat, <laughs> um, at 137. A lot of people are saying, um, what are they saying? A lot of people are saying they're... I think I think like they're like 170 but like they look like no I forgot exactly what it was but it was like something either like how am I 137 but look like that when like other people are 137 but they look bigger I think that's what it is it also depends on your height so yeah it might be your, your height or like what if it's the carnivore diet <laughs> probably not but uh to be honest, I don't know. But the main one is probably your height. A lot of people were saying they love my account. I just remembered a question. So in this video, the one that like went viral and whatnot, in the first clip it says the year, I forgot the year, I think 2022, I think, or 2021. 2021, it says 2021, and then the second clip it says 2024. A lot of people were thinking it took like three or four years. No, it only took seven months. Yeah, I just had the first clip saved in my draft for like three to four years, or like almost four years, or three years, yeah. I had the first clip saved in my draft for three years, just in case for when I did lose weight. To be honest, I did not have hope for myself because, like I said, I went on so many diets and nothing helped. Um, so I was kind of like losing the hope in losing weight. I literally did not picture me like skinny, like getting skinny. Um, but I just had it saved in my drafts just in case, and good thing I did, <laughs> but... Yeah, I just had the first clip saved in my draft, and then I recently continued it last month, so. It only took seven months, and the video has like 4.8 million views. Crazy. Okay, I think I also have a few questions on my TikTok. So, March 8th is when I posted this video, and it just started going viral like two days ago. It has like 359,000 views. Let me see if there's any questions on there. A lot of people are saying how, or I think I told you, but how did my arms get slimmer? Um, just by doing the carnivore diet. <laughs> you know who True, True Thompson is? I think it's Khloe Kardashian's daughter. I don't know, but someone says your your favorite Khloe Kardashian daughter, True Thompson. Anyways. <laughs> oh, another person was saying how did these get smaller? I don't know if you see, but you know. Um... It went down with the carnivore diet. To be honest, I didn't really know that these get smaller. <laughs> like, before I lost weight, I was like, do they get smaller or, like, what? <laughs> and then my friend was actually the one to notice first. Um, we were at Oxford Farm and then we were in line. And she was like, did you get... I forgot the word. 
what's it called breast implants i think or she she said something did did you get them done or something and i was like no why she was low-key scaring me i'm like no why she's like because they look like they got smaller <laughs> i'm dead and i was like maybe because i lost weight she was like, yeah, maybe. But I didn't. That's when I started to realize that they were getting smaller. Because I did not know they get smaller. <laughs> oh, and also a few people were thinking that I have a twin. A lot of people were thinking, the, obviously, this, like they're twins. Um, but yeah, no, it's just me. He, I wish I had a twin, though. Oh, and also a few people are saying, how did I lose the excess skin? To be honest, I do, like, I never, like, during the weight loss, I didn't have excess, ex, excess skin? however you say that word um to be honest i don't know why i thought like before i lost weight i thought i was gonna have excess skin but nope i don't know if it's because of the carnivore diet or it might be because when i was like bigger my stomach was hard like it honestly felt like i was pregnant because you know like when you're pregnant i think your stomach's hard or not but yeah my stomach was like kind of hard that might not be the reason i don't know what the reason is but i'm not complaining because I was honestly scared for that, but yeah, I'm so happy. It's so crazy how fast I lost the weight because literally this was, this TikTok was from July 10th of last year, like seven days before I started the diet. And then this is August 23rd. And that's like only a month apart, but I look like I got flat so like fast. I just wish I kept it up because I would have been done like last year in like October or something or like September but it's better late than never right and also my mom me and my mom were like talking about like how my arms like my shoulders and like my face look so like different like it looks scary you know like it's like and then this is me before like it looks scary and also another reason why I wanted to like lose weight like now is because I'm 19 and it's obviously my last year being a teen and I want to experience at least a little bit of being skinny while a teenager so because I turned 20 in like four months yeah four months <laughs> I don't want to be in the 20s comment down below if you want me to do like what I eat in a day while while on the carnivore diet and it's also really funny because there's a song that on TikTok um it's called carniv carnivore no it's called carnival um and then in the song he says she rather like carnivore i thought they were talking about carnivore like the diet but it's carnival <laughs> i just thought that was funny and it's so weird because i've been craving food that i don't even like like i've been craving tell me why i like um i like waffles now i ate waffles on set and oh my god it was so fire I never liked waffles or pancakes. Now I eat them. Like, what the heck? I hated those. <laughs> and also, I've been liking Oreos. Like, hello? I hate Oreos. But I really want to do this video eating fast food places that I've never tried before. Like, Dutch Bros, I never tried. Sonic, I never tried. There's more places, I swear. I just can't think right now. Okay. I think I've completed everything. I think I've talked about what I needed to talk about, hopefully. Hopefully I'm not forgetting anything. Um, and I've finished my food. I feel like it's smaller than the 3 finger combo. Like, I finished it pretty fast. I cannot wait to film because I plan on going whole new wardrobe shopping because literally none of my pants fit me. Well, they some pants stay up, but like you could like pull them out. And then some pants literally don't just stay up my body. They like fall down. So I really need to go wardrobe shopping, but I'm probably gonna go in May. I know that's far along from now, because when I go shopping for a whole new wardrobe, I wanna be able to shop, you know? Like, I'm talking about like 10 pieces at like each store in the mall. <laughs> yeah, so I need to like save up a little bit so I could go shopping. Comment down below if I should do a part two, like eating like mukbang, I don't know what food yet, but I'm gonna do a mukbang while, I an what? while answering your questions that you have about weight loss and stuff like that. Because I feel like I didn't answer that much questions. Because <laughs> literally, almost all the comments were about, like, how did I lose weight? I am done. That was honestly really good. But I'm ready to go home to, like, sleep. I'm kidding, I'm not sleeping. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
Um, if you did, like, subscribe, comment. And if you want to follow me on my socials, my Instagram is MyLadyQueen underscore. My TikTok is MyLadyQueen. Um, yeah. And subscribe for more videos. Comment down below what videos I should do because now I have freaking 15,000 subscribers and I'm kind of embarrassed. I would always get like one view per video, but and literally the one view would be my cousin. But <laughs> comment down below what videos I should do next. Let me give you a little OTD. I don't know why, but shirt is from Hollister. I think it's very cute. My pants are unbuckled because hashtag bloated. But these jeans are from Target, actually. And I'm going to a uh, screening tonight, which I'm very excited for. <laughs> and now I need to go in line because my siblings want something there's it's their first time trying canes so i'm gonna go get them something but if you guys enjoyed this video if you did like subscribe comment down below what other youtube videos you do next peace love and happiness bye <laughs>